Hello guys, it's Ainsley of Forever Sky's the Limit. I'm finally back filming a doll review. So today we are filming the Skylar Bradshaw Winter Break doll review. I actually filmed this this summer when I got the doll. I uploaded the video to private on my channel and I never posted it because I just thought it was too boring. But I'm finally back and we're going to do it because now it's actually winter break. So now this is actually more relevant. Actually, I kind of match her. I didn't even plan that. So today we're going to talk about the doll, her two outfits. She does come with two outfits. Um, the other stuff she comes with, she comes with a stand, a comb, and a snowboard. We'll talk about this later. But first, I just want to talk about the doll itself. I collect like Barbies, Ever After High dolls, American Girl dolls. So American Girl dolls don't really have makeup. Barbie dolls do have makeup. Ever After High dolls do have makeup. However, Ever After High is not still making dolls, RIP. Um, these are the best dolls in the market right now if you want, like, a cool face-up off the shelf. Like, not like a custom doll where you have to pay somebody to give your doll a face-up. Or you have to give your your doll a face-up. Like, this face-up is amazing. Having said that, there are major quality control issues with all of the Rainbow High dolls. As you can see, okay, this eye looks good. I also love the glass inset eyes. This like combines my favorite parts of all dolls. Like I like my Ever After High dolls and Barbie dolls makeup. I like my American Girl dolls in glass inset eyes and fake eyelashes. And then this like just combines everything. Um, but as you can see, the glitter kind of comes over onto the wing. Um, the eyes are also, you can kind of tell the eyelashes on the bottom. It's hard to see, I need to back her up. They're, they're slightly uneven. Like every single Rainbow High doll I've seen, there's something a little wonky about their face up and their eye eyeshadow. However, in my opinion, I would rather have this slightly little wonky face up that you can hardly tell is wonky from far away than to have a doll with simpler makeup. Because a lot of times in the doll world, we see dolls with very simple makeup. And even Ever After High Dolls and Monster High Dolls that had very simple makeup, back in the day, it was very common to find ones with wonky eyes. So this doll does go for about $45 to $35, which is on the more expensive end. However, she does come with two outfits that have a lot of detail. In my opinion, I think this is fine. I would rather have a little bit of off quality that is really hard to notice rather than have a, a higher price point where the quality is meticulously checked. If you know what I'm saying, I think for the price point, this is appropriate. I know some people are just like, these dolls are expensive. Their makeup should be perfect. I'm like, if you want to buy a $100 collector doll instead of this, be my guest. Um, <laughs> so I love the hair. It comes curled. Her hair does have a little bit of product. I know people have a problem with product in the hair. My opinion, if the, if the product is holding the hair in a style and it doesn't look weird, just leave it. You can wash it out if you want to. In comparison to my Ever After High dolls, who have very greasy hair, the grease does not hold their hair in place. The grease just causes a big fat mess. I'd rather have a little bit of stiff product than a greasy mess. Again, the hair is soft. You can wash off, out the product. I do like that on their website. They do include instructions if you want to wash out the product. For me, the product's just holding her curls in place. I mean, her curls will actually would still hold without the product. It's not really necessary. I think it's just to make sure it like stays in the box. She has been out of the box for about five months. But again, yes. Okay, also her hat is still stuck to her head. This is what her forehead looks like. This is what her hat looks like. Oh, I didn't even talk about the lips and the shimmer on the face. The shimmer on the face is nice. It's just for the winter break dolls. I like that it gives them a little bit of like a frosty element. Again, this is a detail that I feel like we don't see in a lot of other doll lines. I think this face up is amazing despite the little quality issues. Okay, let's move on to her first outfit. I don't know why we're starting with the boots. I just want to point out every single detail is painted in on the boots. Now, if I get a Mattel doll, so this is a more recent Ever After High doll. <laughs> Not really. This is probably from like 2015. So this is a Dragon Games doll. As you can see, there's a lot of details molded into the shoes, but none of them are painted. And this is Mira Shards, if you're wondering. Um, pretty much every Rainbow High doll I've seen, their shoes are painted in, which I love. Also, she does have heeled feet, but they are able to make the heeled feet look flat. Like you can kind of tell this is where, how her, 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 um, 
foot is actually shaped like it follows this curve um but like this is what her feet are actually doing inside but they make them look flat like this just amazes me but like you can't tell and my thing is okay for example oops this is an ever for hide all whenever they just do slippers or sho shoes that wouldn't normally be heels they just make them into heels they just don't care or even like for the monster high roller skating line they literally put them on high heeled roller skates i don't know what the idea was with that but i like, actually tried to to make a designer shoe that was flat footed because it makes more sense her next shoes don't really make sense but these do so let's talk about her bodysuit her bodysuit does have quality control issues however it is very detailed these zippers do if when you look up close they do look a little bit mm, like they're kind of falling apart they're not really falling apart but like with all the loose threads um they do look a little weird up close however i would way rather have actual physical detail than just have them printed on like for pretty much all barbie zippers that i can think of they're literally just printed to the clothes also these zippers don't work they're pur pur purely for decoration but I do like that they are physical and look realistic, even if there is a little bit of quality control issue, rather than having them printed on. I do think that there is a give and take. Again, with the bodysuit, you can see the coloration is kind of chipping, like here. I don't, I, I feel, to be honest, I feel like with this, the fabric part of this bodysuit, I do feel like they could have done better. Let's talk about her coat. Again, we have a fake zipper. Um, however, you can actually button these buttons. You can button them. They're tiny. I like that you can button them. I always like when my American Girl doll outfits come with real buttons. And actually, most fashion dolls, like, I'm trying to think of a fashion doll that I have that has real buttons. But, like, no. Like, every single one of my fashion dolls do not have real buttons. So, this is one of the, with one of the buttons buttoned. And you could button all three of them and actually close her coat. Um, and if you don't know what a fashion doll is... A fashion doll is a doll that's like this size that you typically buy multiples of. Like when the doll is sold, the doll is sold multiple times. So you can get the regular Skylar Bradshaw, you can get the winter break one, and they'll they'll probably come out with more lines in the future, different versions of her. Whereas 18-inch dolls, like American Girl dolls, they just sell one doll and then you buy the the multiple outfits separately. You don't buy a new doll for each new outfit. I mean with these they do sell the outfits separately, but yeah. Okay, also, the hood obviously does not actually fit her head because her head is ginormous. It wouldn't even fit over her hair. But I, th this coat actually has pretty good quality control on the back, I would say, and it does feel like a real coat. I like this coat. This coat does feel very high quality, and the little, we have little fuzzes back here. Matches a little fuzz on her hat. Also, her hat does look very nice. I don't really see any quality controls issues with the hat. So, oh, I was going to put her into the second outfit, but before we do that, we can put her on the snowboard. And the snowboard says rainbow on the back. So, you, the reason we're doing this in her first outfit is because you have to use these shoes. So, you put the shoe in, and then you kind of just snap it around the shoe. Ugh. Okay, so I have her feet in, and I just want to point out from a non-doll collector perspective... It's kind of hard to get this latch closed. And again, I don't think it's a problem for adult collectors. Um, but if you're a kid and you're playing with this, that's going to be kind of annoying. And you can even, I just want to show you, you can put her on her stand. <laughs> One second. With this. And you can like, if you can get her to attach the stand, you can like do like, different like snowboarding poses I'm not she's not staying on the stand but you get the idea okay so whew. another thing is I just want to point out there's a bunch of little spots of dirt on my snowboard that is not a quality control issue that is a me issue um this snowboard has just been in a box with some ever after high dolls so I think the dirt on it is just like pieces of the after high dolls outfits or dust or something i don't know editor's note 
The reason the snowboard is dirty is not because the Ever After High Dolls or the box itself is really that dirty. It's because, I think I explained this earlier in the video, Ever After High Dolls and Old Monster High Dolls have this problem where the glue that was inside their head seeps out into their hair and makes their hair super greasy and it's really hard to get rid of. So I think the grease from the Ever After High Dolls hair was getting onto the snowboard and then making dust stick to the snowboard, which is why it had like little spots on it. Before we go to the next outfit, this is what her, what would you call this, her snowsuit looks like without the coat. As you can see, the stitching back here is a little wonky. However, you don't really see that with the coat. And this is another big problem that I feel like they could have done better is you can like, yeah, that just doesn't look good. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to look like that. It just has something to do with the how they colored this. Like, you could, like, I don't know. It's also doing that on the inside of the leg where you can like see the seam. I don't know. They probably should have rethought this thing. I don't know. Also, while she's getting changed, I just want to point out they do have painted nails. Again, detail you see sometimes in fashion dolls, but not a lot. <laughs> okay, she's in at least the first part of her second outfit. She also has this little puffer jacket that goes over it, but first I just want to talk about these things so we can see them without the puffer jacket. So she has these two little ties on her sweatshirt, and her sweatshirt is all sparkly. Again, I don't really have too many problems with this sweatshirt. It velcros. The back of the hood velcros, which is nice because it's easy to get. We have problems with her jeans. So the front of her jeans is all fake. It's all stitched. And I think the stitching is pretty okay. These things are also pretty fine down here. So they're, they're a little wonky, but they're fine. Um, this is the problem. Her pants do not stay, <laughs> stay together. Now, this isn't just a problem I've seen with Rainbow High dolls. I've seen this with Monster High and Barbies. Um, I think it's just a thing when you're going to put jean fabric on a doll like this. It's not really stretchy. They could solve this by making legging fabric. However, you're going to be viewing your dolls from this angle. You're not really going to have them pose like that. So, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And, like, honestly, for play value, I don't think kids care that much. So, let's discuss the shoes. These shoes I do kind of have a, have a problem with because every single time I take them on and off, I feel like they're going to break because as you can see, there's no, like, it's just like this. So to get the shoe on, there's just this little hole and you just have to shove the doll's foot through it. And it's kind of an issue. I kind of feel like one day the plastic is just going to break. We're, we're getting into the Monster High roller skating on heels territory. So <laughs> we have ice skates, but they're heels. Again, these shoes to make them look flat footed they had to be real bulky i think these shoes actually look gorgeous are they realistic no do i care i don't really care that they're not realistic i think they're pretty the only problem is you can't really reuse them for any other outfit that isn't a winter outfit because they just look absolutely ridiculous but however i do think they look very nice for this outfit let's discuss this jacket this jacket is so soft it's aligned even like the sleeves are lined. Wow. So this is like a nice high quality jacket, I feel like. And it's going to keep her warm because going out into the cold in just a sweatshirt is not going to keep you warm. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute with this jacket. So this is what the jacket looks like on. Yeah, this is what it looks like on. It's all nice and floofy. She feels kind of like a little white dog. Um, yeah, overall, I like both her outfits. This jacket is definitely... A win. You could even use this for your Barbies. T TBH. Yeah. I think this hood would actually fit a Barbie. Like, it does. this hood does not fit Rainbow High Doll. This might actually fit a Barbie. Now that I'm looking at this, her feet might be kind of cold while she's ice skating. But overall, I think this doll is very cute. I recommend it. Just be aware if you're a collector of the quality control issues. I do not think a kid would care. When I was a kid, I would not have noticed this. Because I'm just staring at her face up and I'm thinking, this is an amazing face up. Even though I can see the little imperfections, if I was a kid, I probably wouldn't be looking for the little imperfections. So I would not care. This is, regardless, this is a beautiful doll. I think it is worth the price. Now, I did get mine for the more expensive $45. I wish I would have gotten it for the $35. Let's be honest, I do think this is more of a $35 than a $45. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Skylar also says thank you. Also, I know I just reviewed her, but I think 
my critiques about the face up and about the quality of the clothes can be applied to the whole range of doll line, especially the, the winter break dolls. So if you're interested in buying any rainbow high doll, I feel like this could be a useful critique. But I will have my TikTok and my Instagram linked in the description as always. So go check me out on those places if you didn't come from those places. Anyways, bye guys. Merry Christmas.